Hey guys, what's up? You crash your drone in the snow? Me too. Did it smoke when you plugged it in? Mm hmm. Today we're gonna learn how to fix it. Let's head on over to the workbench. Here we are at the workstation. If you may notice, my Tiny Hawk Freestyle might look different than yours, but that's okay. All I did was switch the camera, and I have these HQ props on it. If you have a stock camera and stock props, you can follow along and do everything just the same. Alright, let's get our working gloves on. Good, now we're ready to work. First thing you need to do is take the top plate off. Now I've zip tied my VTX antenna to my battery strap. As you can see, my VTX antenna is smaller than the stock one, but well, I've already switched it out to the new board. Don't worry, I'll take you through the process on the old board. Notice how the camera plugs in as I've spliced it into the stock camera wires. This camera is a Runcam Nano 2 and I'm using some TPU 3D printed mounts that I found online. The next thing you must do is remove the fried board. This can easily be done via these four screws. And once you've managed to remove the motors and the board, I'll show you how you solder the motors back on. Next, to solder the motors on. Pin these pads, connect your motor wires to these pads. Later, I will show you how to make sure your motors spin the correct direction. Make sure to use flux when you solder to ensure a good connection. Take the first motor wire, place it on the pad and touch a hot solder up to it. Perfect. Once you have all your motors soldered, Plug your camera in, both the stock camera and the Runcam Nano can plug into the same port. At this point, I like to take a little motivational break in order to complete my work.
wonderful. Now that all your motors are attached and your camera is hooked up, the only thing left is to put the top plate back on. Grab your tools and your screws. Go ahead and get it stuck back on. kind of tricky to get in the hole. Once you have your top plate mounted, go ahead and open up beta flight and I'll see you over there. What you really want to do first is click connect on your mouse so that way you can open the drone. I have to open I lied. I'm not going to show you how to do the software. You can look down below to see the software. <laughs> There's a bunch of other videos. I'll link one that helped me. Let's see if it flies. Wait a minute. I need my flying gloves on. Go ahead. Thanks for tuning in to this episode. Go ahead and write up a subscribe and click a comment.